the threesome that will be employed in one half of the six-man tag team match will be seeing the likes of Dino Bravo join forces with his two tag team partners, Chief Jay Strongbow and Chief Peter Maivia, squaring off against a great threesome indeed. That of Spiros Arion, Eric and Pierre, the Yukon Lumberjacks and still tag team champions. Scheduled, ladies and gentlemen, to face the Polish power of Ivan Putski will be a man with enormous power in his own right. Superstar Billy Graham against Ivan Putski in what will prove to be, I'm quite certain, another classic confrontation here in Baltimore. And tonight, Ivan Koloff, the number one contender in the wrestling world today, hoping that this will be his shining moment should he defeat Worldwide Wrestling Federation champion Bob Backlund. At this moment, let's bring on the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. Let's bring on superstar Billy Graham as well and discuss what will unquestionably prove to be a battle of the two powerful titans in Baltimore. McMahon, may I remind you, Baltimore belongs to the superstar. This is the superstar's town. This is the town where he showed his finest hour. Do you honestly think the midget mouth that roared is going to be able to get by the muscles, the brains, and the complete, absolute power of the superstar. No way possible. A dream, Putski, that the superstar will make a nightmare for you. Correct, champion? You know what this is? This is a match. A match that was booked for superstar Billy Graham for a stepping stone because I was told by your father that if I defeated Ivan Pusky, I will have the next title shot with Bobby Backen in Baltimore. So therefore, that's right, quoting your dad, I will have the next title shot in Baltimore. The promoter, Phil Zacco, obviously is the man who makes such decisions. And should you perhaps defeat Ivan Putski, perhaps promoter Phil Zacco would pull you up there in the number one spot. That's up exactly right. Name somebody else and don't kick me. It's not time. Name somebody else who is more able to defeat. There is no one. There is no one. He knows it. Superstar Billy Graham along with his manager, the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on the reigning champion. Let's bring on Bob Backlund to discuss the upcoming title defense tonight. I suspect that you have done everything possible in training for this event tonight. Well, I've done everything, all the training, all the wrestling, and uh, all the workouts, all the watching of the films, and all the studying, and um, listening to Ivan Koloff talking here on uh, the TV, uh, talking about me, saying things about the title, saying that he, well, to me, it looks like he uh, thinks he's already got the title around his waist. Well, Koloff, I'm not going to turn it over to you on a silver platter. You're going to have to beat me tonight in Baltimore. I'm not going to come out there and hand it to you. You've got to beat me one, two, three to get it. That's exactly the way things sum up here in Baltimore. Koloff, one of the most determined athletes I think we've ever seen, notwithstanding the determination of champion Bob Backlund. At this moment, let's bring on the number one contender now. Well, of, well, of course we've got to beat him. I mean, we understand that. We, we don't expect a party out there. I mean, the man is a world champion, and we feel that we have the ability, we have the strategy to go out there and to beat Bob Backlund. We're not saying it's going to be a picnic. I mean, we're not, we're not kids, and we understand that this, that this is a professional athlete that has achieved the status of world champion. So the man is very well qualified, but... He's got to choke up a little when he feels the experience and he knows the, the brutality of Ivan Koloff and he has the captain as the guy and the man has got to be worried. And, and uh, being upset, he's got to be vulnerable for mistakes. He's got to be open, wide open. Mr. Koloff? You know, if Backlund comes out here and talks about silver platter, you know, I'm going to hit him over the head with a silver platter and it's going to be filled with knuckle sandwiches. You know, Backlund, you remind me of a little kid that just went into the jewelry store and stole some jewelry and they've been hiding, trying to keep away from the law with it, you know. You're not going to get away. I'm the law. I'm going to come down on your head, Backlund, with silver platter and everything else. You're going to find out, Backlund, that you can't hide, that your hiding days are over. Call off is on your trail. I've got your scent. And when I meet up with you in that ring, it's going to be the end for you because I'm going to throw everything at you. Yes, silver platter and all.